Hello YouTube, um, this is Benjamin on Zero Zero, also known as Pixel Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a filler from Buildcraft. So, um, first off, you're going to want to have a lot of resources. That is literally the first thing you're going to want to do. So, um, if you haven't seen my quarry video, this is the quarry that I made. Um, yeah, uh, you don't really have to use a quarry, you can use any resources you want. Uh, I've shown mainly sponge, as you can see. And uh, just threw a couple other things in there just to demonstrate. So yeah, um, other important thing is you have to have the filler. Uh, go ahead and craft that, and then you can move on to this next step. So what fillers, unlike quarries, when you place them down, they give you no specifications to where they're going to go. They do absolutely nothing when you place them down. Um, so you're going to have to use landmarks. And instead of only having to use four for each corner of the specifications where you need, you're going to need five. Because the filler is a three-dimensional area, so you're going to need one that goes up, um, and then you're also going to need the ground level. So we're going to go four up, or just a couple up. Uh, we'll make it a little bit higher, like that. And... um. Now, a lot of mistakes people make is they go like this, they you, they place the um, landmarker on the side like that, but then they place this one here. Now, these two will not connect right. I mean, like, they connect now, but they won't con connect right when um, you connect all of the torches together. So if you go one here, uh, we'll just go out here, then we'll go out to here, and then go out to here. So, um, if I were to press this one, that one will not connect. Watch. It, see, it needs to make a box shape, uh, to show how high you want it to be. So, what you have to do is you have to come over here to the one that's next to the one that you made the wall with, and place it on the wall, too. So, now it will work. There you go. It made a box shape. So now that it's made a box shape, you're going to want to place your filler, just like the quarry, on the torch. So there you go. Uh, you've set up the specifications to where your quarry, or where your filler wants to be. So you can either uh, fill up the filling resources manually, or you could have it pumping from something like a chest into it. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Oh, I forgot the transport pipes again. That's okay. We got creative. Alright, so, uh, once again, you're going to want a wooden transport pipe and many cobblestone transport pipes, depending on how far you're going. So, you go ahead and put your wooden transport pipe on the chest, and then you have the trans the cobblestone transport pipes leading into your, um, we'll go like this, leading into your filler. So now that that's leading in, it will not pump by itself. You have to have something to pump it. So to do that, you need a redstone engine. Um, and then redstone engines need no fuel. You can't even open them. But you power them with redstone. So they go like that. And then uh, redstone engines can't really power things like quarries and uh, fillers. So they aren't OP because just because they can't have any fuel. So you can hook multiple redstone engines up, so it goes a little bit faster. And, uh, yeah. After these heat up, um, we'll get some, we'll get quite a lot of resources in here. So then, um, again, the minimal um, engine that you, that requires to, f uh, run this is the, um, steam engine. So you go ahead and place that on there. Uh... Go like that. And then we fill all of these with coal blocks for the maximum efficiency. Not really. I think lava bucket's the maximum still. Then you're going to want to have to power these so they turn on. Um, there we go. They're all turned on. Oh, and look at that. It's already filling with the resources it has. So uh, right now, I have it set to just... Oops. I want to open the filler. There we go. Right now, I have it just set to fill, so it will just fill this whole entire specif specified area with blocks. Um, I kind of want this to fill rapidly. Hang on. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> go 
like that. So this will fill very fast if you have the resources already filled up. In fact, let me turn these engines off and let it build up for a little bit while I'm trying to explain. So there's many different modes you can use. Um, there's fill, there's flatten, which um, if you can see the little uh, icon, they're all different. But anyway, flatten is, uh, the dark area is where the blocks will be, and the white area is where no blocks will be. So the flatten one, you can see it kind of just does a small percentage of the, um, hey, excuse me. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, it just does a small percentage of the, um, specific specified area that you have. Uh, that's not flatten. That's flatten. <laughs> it does most of the area that you have. And then um, Horizon is what I was just talking about. It's the small sophistication of what you have. Um, pyramid makes a pyramid. That's a really cool one. Uh, stairs just make stairs going uh, in a certain direction. A box is a hollow. Um, it makes a hollow fill. And uh, Clear take, deletes all the blocks. So um, in this version of Buildcraft... Uh, the blocks when you do, uh, what, it, what did I just say, clear, um, it does not give you back the resources. So that's something to keep in mind w if you're using the filler. Um, do we have enough resources in here yet? That looks about enough. What, what should we make? I think we should make a pyramid. Ooh, what's that? Hmm, that's new. Apparently, you can make a cylinder. Let's try out this one. I wonder if this one works. Something's happening. I'm assuming this one makes a cylinder. Excuse me. Um, that was not meant to happen. <laughs> I should have turned off my Skype before I did this. Um... Yeah, it looks like it's going to make a cylinder. That's really cool. That's a new one. That must be a test one right now. But yeah, you can make the uh, cylinder. Um, that's really neat. But anyway, <laughs> so you can make cylinders, you can make stairs, you can make the hollow boxes. Uh, there's a lot of neat things you can do with this filler. Uh, as far as your imagination can take you, that's how much it could do. So, yeah, let's see if there's any weird ones like that. Splatten Horizon Pyramid Box Clear. Fill Pattern Dot Cylinder. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, this uh, this was the filler tutorial. I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, my name is Benjamin9900, also known as Big Sal Studios. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, bye bye